to Gatherverse AI Summit 2023. We're so happy to have everyone that has joined us today. We have a lot of wood to chop. We have a little bit of time to do it. But let me say from the beginning and from the top that on the subject matter of artificial intelligence, I am not in love with it. There are many technologies that I enjoy, that I like, and in some ways celebrate. But of all my years that I've been studying and exploring, wondering and considering artificial intelligence, it's the one technology that abides within the eco-habitat of all emerging technologies that gives me the most pause. And I imagine by your very presence with us today, it too may give you a bit of pause. When we talk about artificial intelligence, we're talking about a technology that many scholars and many professionals and explorers that have been dealing and studying and better to understand this technology of machine learning, deep learning, and smart assistants, chatbots, neural networks, so forth and so on, have been on a sort of a renaissance exploration to understand how might this technology emerge because there's been great conflict through the decades from various scholars, students, organizations, those that have dedicated their whole entire lives, careers, if you will, in attempting to understand what this technology will be and how will it be moving forward. There are those that have set so-called standards with the Turing test, which with today's technology and showcase of artificial intelligence is causing, is causing us to start to consider, does Turing have the marquee standard of what we consider sentient AI. There have been those that have been laid off and fired from platforms that we know, such as Google, and others that have said that the artificial intelligence in which they interact with and that they engage with is so compelling on the levels of sentient that it's indiscernible of what we have with Turing tan standards and what we think and consider sentient conversation to be. But the reality is that the metaverse, if you will, is a house, that artificial intelligence is the one that seeks to operate perfectly within it. And with the showcasing of regenerative platforms of artificial intelligence, and with what we're seeing when it comes to platforms such as ChatGPT, the explosion of a platform that we have never seen this type of adoption when it comes to technology and the history of technology itself, contemporary to our time and therefore any other. But let me share, and I submit to you to consider that with what we're seeing today, this very moment, this morning, if you will, when it comes to artificial intelligence, and platforms like ChatGPT, they are nothing compared to what we are about to see come down the pipeline. Why? One, because ChatGPT and technologies that we've seen, such as Kodak avatars with Meta's release and glimpse of what could be the future of the state and condition of the avatar with human like life lens human eye resolution standards, an indiscernible operating machine learn deep fake of you and I, what does that look like when it comes to the ownership of the likeness and image? And with the revelation and the reveal of platforms such as ChatGPT with OpenAI and others, all the great investments and some of the biggest financial investments that have happened here in Silicon Valley and elsewhere in the world has gone towards artificial intelligence in which we have not seen the light of day of the consequence or results of those investments that have gone into artificial intelligence. And here's the deal. And here's the reality. 
Now that the cards have been revealed from platforms such as ChatGPT, you can expect to see such an explosion of AI, unlike anything that we have not even considered to fathom of what morphologically it will look like and how it's introduced into the greater eco-habitat of other emerging technologies, of crypto assets, of the metaverse itself, virtual and augmented, mixed reality, biotechnology, robotics and automation, so forth and so on. And here's the reality. We must take a humanity first approach to artificial intelligence, the metaverse, and any other emerging technology that seeks to invade into our lives, our existence, to work with us, assist us, be part of our ecosystem. And that is in part what the metaverse looks like to the eyes and through the eyes of the gatherverse, where we're taking humanity first standards of accessibility, education, equality, community development, safety, privacy, wellness, and ethics, and saying, hold on, let's make sure we're on the same page that it's people over platforms. And we have now a community that supports these narratives. And there are technologists that are working every single day to advocate for better standards when it comes to the approach of emerging technologies. And here today, I wanted to assemble minds together to get a better understanding and a diverse lens on what AI looks like from their perspectives globally, what it might look like today and tomorrow, and how we share and gather in community. We need you to share this story for those that are with us today. Subscribe. Hit us up on LinkedIn. Add us on Instagram. This isn't something just for entertainment. We're not an entertainment venue. We're not an entertainment platform. We're a platform of expression, of humane truth standards, and for a better way of a sustainable earth and planet. And giving back to generations what was given to us more abundantly and in a better way. We need your support. This is a free platform. We do this just dedicated from our hearts, these operations. So thank you for joining us. I'm bringing in a guest, Rose Haft, to join me with a few different questions that I have when it comes to artificial intelligence. Then we have other dedicated speakers for this event, roundtable discussions, and we'll be well on our way Thank you for joining us. My name is Christopher Lafayette, founder of Gatherverse, servant leader, humble to be here, happy to be here, and may our gather be well. Rose, we're pulling you in. We're happy to have you here. Thank you for joining us here on Gatherverse, Rose. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm very well. Rose, you came out with a very compelling article, and to our audience that's with us today, Rose had a tremendous and wonderful article. I suggest you reach out to her direct, and if need be, we'll put the link in the chat here soon, about artificial intelligence, and it was a medium expression that she shared. Rose, my question to you with the few minutes that we have to share is, what inspired you to write this particular article on artificial intelligence, and what are your extending and prevailing thoughts beyond it. Yeah, so I've been working in AI and high tech since I was 16. Um, I've worked in just about every field from education to healthcare, um, working on robotics and quite a few other things. And so I've gotten to have a backstage I guess, look, if you will, at what um, at what is possible and what is coming. And so, um, yeah, with, um, with all of the possibilities that are out there, um, I just thought it was really important to try to bring together some discussions um, and start conversations around what are some of the frameworks to build things in a healthy, healthy way. Rose, from your lens perspective and your years of, and thank you for sharing that, by the way, for your years of experience in technology, on the subject of artificial intelligence specifically, 
Are you good with the direction that we're moving in and what you're seeing come to markets right now? Um, I absolutely love what we're seeing. Uh, we're seeing a lot of tools that help to increase productivity. What is a bit more challenging is knowing that a lot of investors um, and business owners are really pushing for AI to fully take over and for processes to be fully automated. Um, and the world is definitely not perfect today. And so I think we need to take kind of a more humble approach to um, to what we're implementing and make sure that everything that's out there is working um, as we adopt it. To those in the Gatherverse community and to those that are with us listening, what's the most important thing from your lens that we should know about artificial intelligence today, Rose? Um, so the most important thing is to, um, to remember that humans still exist and that we're, we're still using all of these tools together. And so we'll start to see where AI can maybe start to replace some jobs, but in actuality, um, it'll just help uh, the people who are experts to stand out even more. And so we're working with our fellow humans. Um, uh, so try not to be too afraid um, and take some curiosity and find um, how it can be helpful and help you to um, just improve your overall life. Um, you know, Rose, as I sit here listening and we're sharing with the about a minute left that we have, I'm Reminded of, I remember speaking with a friend who I won't reveal this person's name from Intel, Intel Capital. Intel made an incredible amount of investments in artificial intelligence in the past 10 years, which is fine. And I remember him visiting my studio one day and saying, you know, Chris, the biggest thing that gives me pause about the investments that we have that we're making with Intel Capital is that being that they're artificially intelligent, the great disruption that is to come, not if, but when, when it comes to the working class of civilization itself. Rose, you mentioned the attempt for, for automation, which we see some of that happening now, either algorithmically or artificially intelligently happening. And so when I think about the opportunities we have, they're incredible. When I think about this technology in the hands of, for the wrong people, it's menacing. I'll quote Elena Zelensky. She said, not too long ago, this is the wife of President Zelensky, of, who are heavily entrenched in the Ukraine war. She said that technology should be made to help save lives, not take them away. Um, yeah, I think as humans, we're still kind of understanding what that means to save lives, um, still understanding what it means to be there for one another in difficult times, to know that we all have personal struggles um, um, and helping one another to overcome what these, these things from the past are is incredibly um, critical. And, and once we truly understand um, how to save lives in a more philosophical sense, I think we'll have a better understanding for how to use and implement um, AI. Rose, we value you as a community member. We value your voice. For those that are with us, please take a look and find time to read what she has drafted out and shared with the world with a bit of vulnerability and courage and heart power. We thank you for your time and we look forward to exploring with you further and continuing with this event moving forward.